Welcome to the next lesson in this module, where you'll learn how to use some of Android Studio's tools to help you debug your projects. Debugging refers to finding defects, or bugs, in your programs. The term bug is credited to Admiral Grace Hopper when in the 1940s she found a moth stuck inside a computer that she was working on at Harvard for the U.S. Navy. This bug created an electrical short and caused the program that the computer was running to fail. She debugged the computer and got it working again. Hence, the term became applied to computing when it comes to finding and resolving problems. Modern integrated development environments such as Android Studio come pre-packaged with advanced tools to assist you in finding and resolving bugs. Bugs in software can be categorized into two main groups, logical and syntax. Logical errors are when your program runs and doesn't crash, but instead it produces output which is incorrect. Fixing logical errors is something that requires practice and the experience of the developer to resolve. The other type of bug is called syntax error. Syntax is the rules by which the programming language requires your program's source code to be written for it to be a valid program. Syntax errors can cause your program to not compile, which is called a compile time error, or if it does happen to compile, there can be advanced bugs that make it crash. These bugs are called runtime errors, since you only find them when you try to run your app. Both of these types of syntax errors, or bugs, can be caused by a lot of reasons, ranging from the code missing some type of keyword, a character in the source code files being in the wrong place, perhaps a simple typo, or more complex topics, which we will discuss later in this course. In this video, we'll discuss some of the tools available to you in Android Studio that will help you try and resolve syntax errors. While programming, you will encounter times when your program's syntax isn't correct. Syntax is the rules by which a programming language is required to be written for it to function. When your program has syntax errors, it won't be able to be compiled or tested. I have a simple example program in front of us right now. This file has no syntax errors, but to create one, all I have to do is delete this semicolon right here. When I do this, several things will happen. Now, you'll notice a red squiggly line where the semicolon used to be. This is indicating that there is an error here. You will also notice that in the left-hand window showing the project, that the main activity file, the file that I'm currently working on, has a red squiggly line underneath of it, informing me at a high level that this file has a syntax error. Also, on the right-hand side of the scroll bar for the text editor window, there is a red line that I can click on. Because the syntax error in my code is simple, the editor gives me a hint as to what it thinks this problem is, informing me that a semicolon is likely missing. The editor doesn't always give a proposed solution for you, nor is it always correct when it does make a suggestion. But its suggestion is a good starting place for what might be causing problems for you. If you click on the red line, the editor will take you to the location of the error. Adding back in the semicolon removes the red warning lines from within the file, from the project description, and from the right-hand side, and indicates that the application is now back in proper syntax. The first step in fixing bugs in your app is to first identify and locate them. Now that you've completed this lesson, you should understand how to identify, find, and even how to read the suggested tool tips about syntax errors within your app. 